Hi friends, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki, I'll put my usual video on the screen showing you how to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified of my almost daily uploads. If you're new around here, I upload about four to five times a week on this channel, so subscribe so you don't miss out. I have been on a roll on Poshmark. If you are new around here, I've been reselling on eBay for 10 years part-time, so I've always been super biased to eBay. I love eBay, I love selling on Amazon. I also sell on Thread up and Poshmark, but Poshmark has been great to me because I have been good to Poshmark lately. So I've been selling on Poshmark for three years and I always make the joke that Poshmark has been like my least favorite platform. Um, I don't really like the social aspect of, of like sharing and following, but I said 2021, I'm focusing on Poshmark. We're gonna make some money there. If I'm gonna sell there, I need to make money there. And I have been implementing these tips that I've been sharing with you guys, and my Poshmark has been doing amazing. I'm getting daily sales. Um, if you wanna see what's been selling for me, I'll link the most recent what sold video, but I've just been sharing all the tips and tricks that I've been using you guys and it's been amazing. Some of you may know these things already, some of you may not, but I just wanna share my knowledge and today I wanna talk about how I've been using Poshmark parties to get more sales, basically daily. Poshmark parties can be game changing for you. I feel like, especially if you're if you're not getting sales or your things aren't moving and you're wondering why, you should pay attention to the Poshmark parties. Um, I'll put some footage on the screen of them. They happen multiple times throughout the day. And basically the way I use the parties is I just go and use them as information for what is selling, friends. If you go and look at these parties, it'll tell you what's trending on Poshmark. For example, I think the last party was like, that I saw was like Posh Babes Hot Stuff or something like that. And it said specific brands that you could share to this party. And I went and screenshotted those brands. It was like Aritzia, Zara, Levi's, um, Reformation. That tells you what people are looking for, what's selling on Poshmark, what's trending, what people are searching for. And if you have that in your mind when you're out thrifting or when you're doing retail arbitrage or when you're shopping online, your items are more likely to sell. I did this a lot more so when I first started on Poshmark in, three years ago because Poshmark is a different beast from eBay. Everything that sells on eBay may not sell on Amazon. Poshmark I feel like is more about trendy items, um, what's on trend, what's fashionable right now. So I use those parties as research and I think all of you should too. I used to ignore them. I'm not gonna lie to you, for like the first, at the beginning, I did look at them because I wanted to know what are people looking for and then I just stopped, but I think it's important to stay abreast of what Poshmark is saying. This is what people are looking for right now. This is why we're doing this party because people are searching for these items and if you wanna make sales, these are the things that you should be selling. So honestly, if I'm gonna sell on Poshmark, I should be looking at these parties daily. What is Poshmark saying people are buying? What is Poshmark saying people are searching for? Like, you know which one shocked me was the Levi's. I was like, really? I find so many Levi's. Now, I think they need to be, you know, trendy styles. You need to know what type of jean style is trending right now. For example, I heard bell bottoms are coming back. I didn't know they ever went, well, I knew they went out of style. I always love bell bottoms because I have, this is a tangent. I tell you guys, because all the time, I have thunder thighs. So I feel like bell bottoms kind of like make me look more even. Some people feel like it does the opposite and it makes them look more wide, but I like them, I don't care. Um, anyways, of course you need to know styles, but I just think it's very important, you guys, pay attention to these parties because you will know what is selling. And when I started doing that, and you can go look at my Poshmark closet, I'm really tailoring it down to things that are moving quickly. If I've had anything, I've really skimmed down my inventory for items that maybe a lot of workwear I'm donating back to Goodwill right now because it's just not moving. I've had it for a year or two um, and I'm tailoring things, my closet down to things that I know that are moving. And because I'm doing that and I'm doing the other tricks I told you, so I'm still sharing in the middle of the night, um, I'm not sharing other people's items. I'm sharing my items. I'm seeing daily sales, you guys. It's really been helpful. So I just wanted to make a quick video talking about the importance of using parties as research. If you wanna share to parties and you find that effective, let us know in the comments down below. I don't 
share to party. I can't remember the last time I shared to a party, but I do go and I screenshot the brands that they're looking for because that tells me this is what's selling on Poshmark right now. And that is so imperative. If you want to make sales on Poshmark, I feel like a lot of, especially new sellers, and this is fine. Maybe they list things from their closet or around the house, and then they just sit back and have 10 listings and wonder why they're not selling. Um, I feel like us resellers don't do that because this is our job, you know, and we need to know what's selling. But I just wanted to do this video as a, like a tips video. We're just going to keep doing like these Poshmark tips videos, and I'm just going to te keep teaching you what I'm learning along the way, what's working for me, what's not working for me. I always share the real, the good, the bad, the ugly with you guys. I share all of that. So it's been working for me, friends, just doing that little research. And then when I'm outsourcing, picking up those brands, knowing those trends, what's trending and listing them, taking good, clean photos. And it's all been great. Poshmark has been really good to me January. I mean, I'm filming this January. Is today the 12th? Last 12 days have been great. I've been getting sales every day, multiple sales. I've really been sticking to it. Uh, I've just been like killing it on all the resell. Like eBay's been great. Amazon's been great, but I'm working on reselling every single day. I can't say I was doing that before. It's difficult when you have a full-time job, uh, a newborn baby. If you're new around here, my baby's gone. He's going to be eight weeks on Thursday. Um, I did post my labor and delivery vlog. It's a little graphic, but if you like labor and delivery videos, I'll link it down below. It's over on the beauty channel, but it can be difficult to work on your business every single day, but I've really been making an effort to do it every single day and I'm seeing the benefits of it. So I just wanted to share this little tip with you guys. You got to know what's trending and what's selling and Poshmark parties are a great, great way because they do the research for you. They say, hey, this is what's selling. Share this. List this. List those things if you have them that are listed, those brands in the Poshmark parties. It's really helped me a lot. All right. You can check out my other Poshmark tips videos right here.